So I'm Stacy Amfuso. I'm the CEO and founder of La Jolla Logic. We're a San Diego-based advanced technology and cybersecurity engineering firm. Very We've good. been in business uh, since 2011, so about nine years, going on nine years now. Okay, and what kind of technology do you guys do? Well, we focus, I started the company, um, I've been a cyber engineer for the government, working for the government for about 20 years, oh, wow. and so working with cross-domain systems and a lot of different uh, really robust technologies over the years. And um, I started the company after working for several small businesses um, I started this business like I said about nine years ago and really in the vein of, of cybersecurity and cyber engineering for the government and over time we've grown um, from me as one person to we're about 50 people now and a lot of our, our engineers are really high-end high credentialed cybersecurity engineers still doing a lot of work from the government and over time we've also evolved our our capability line to include artificial intelligence and machine learning um, I'm a scientist by background and we won a, um, a small business innovative research um, topic for using um, basically machine learning and artificial intelligence for anomaly detection. Okay. And so we started our work with NAVWAR in San Diego and the technology has been adopted by NAVC. So we're now working out of the Navy Yard looking at um, anomaly detection in the industrial control systems of ships. And so we're developing the technology for that capability. Can you give me a, just a quick overview of like what for a, an example of anomaly detection? So an anomaly, what we're looking for um, a lot is patterns of behaviors on networks, so communications between systems. Um, we The system has the ability to um, ingest and watch lots and lots and lots of data over time and establish a pattern for what normal looks like between systems as they communicate between behaviors of a system on its own okay. and then over time um, the system can determine when there's um, anomaly, anomalous behaviors or something different is going on and okay. signal the uh, um, human in the loop for intervention. Okay, interesting. So, so set like a baseline like as it's going about its day-to-day -day communicating and then if something's outside of that normal parameter then you would alert the human in the loop. So if the system is being compromised or something like that, right? That's right, that's okay. right. And the system uses what's called unsupervised machine learning, and that means you don't give it parameters, you don't configure rules. Okay. The system watches, watches, watches lots of information and it figures out on its own what normal looks like. And the neat thing about that is it makes it broadly applicable. So it can be applied to different types of systems, not just industrial control systems, but standard networks to observe those behaviors as well. Okay, and then do you have any other, do you have any customers outside of the DOE, DOD? The, the, for the, this technology and a lot of our cyber engineering technology has been primarily within the DOD. So we work for the Navy, we work for the Air Force, um, we have some work with DHS, a couple different agencies. But we also are doing more and more commercial work now. So we're taking the robust cybersecurity um, expertise that we have and applying it to the commercial sector. So we're seeing a lot of business demand right now for other businesses, especially small and mid-sized defense contractors mm -hmm. that need to be compliant with cyber regulations. Regulations now, in order to be a DoD contractor, you have to have certain cyber um, assurances in place within your company because you're working with government data. So we're being hired now by a number of other firms to help them implement these mandatory controls inside their own environments to protect the government information. Wow, that's that's mm -hmm. impressive. So I'm gonna ask you a question that I didn't really prep you for. Um, since you guys have been so successful, you've grown from what you founded up to, you said how many people? We're going on 50. Well, uh, 50. Do you have any advice to the people that are watching on, on working with the government, contracting, like any advice on how to grow and, and, and be successful? Yeah. It's a, it's, a, it's a really difficult industry in that there's not a book written on it. You can't just go out and take a few classes and learn it. Yeah. It's something you've got to really be exposed to. Um, the nice thing, I've worked always for small businesses, so that's given me a lot of exposure. I went from engineering into project management and then into program management and then running a division in our sector to, to starting my own company. So having that exposure is a beautiful thing that you really only get with small businesses. You don't get pigeonholed into a certain area. Um, but it's something that you can do. Uh, you just got to give yourself time and know there's a lot of rigor. There's rigor in the way you have to implement policies, practices, accounting systems, holding and managing clearances. You know, in addition to all the technology focus and whatever your expertise is, there's a lot of compliance and regulation that you have to be aware of too. But you can do it. I mean, I did it. I, I didn't come from this industry. I don't have a military background, but just sort of stepped into it and 
met a lot of really good people along the way that mentored me um, and just dove in and worked really hard, but you can do it. And it's, it's really a fascinating environment. You get exposure to a problem set on a daily basis that you would never see anywhere else. Just the level of things that we do and the complexity of it and the, the criticality of it. That's cool. It's inspiring. It's great. I mm -hmm. hope someone's watching this and gets mm -hmm. gets inspired to go do that. Well, Excellent. thank you for your time. Uh, if people want to find out more about your your company, you your technology, where can they go? Look? We're online. www. La Jolla Logic. It's L A J O L L A L O G I C. La Jolla Logic. Com. And I'm Stacy Amphuso, the founder. Cool. Reach out to me. Thank you. Thank you so mm -hmm. much. Appreciate yeah. it. Thank you.